we are about to make the ultimate snack for your next movie night or kid's birthday party. But best of all, it's healthy, it's a little bit different, and also I think the kids will want to get involved. So what are we cooking? Okay, today we are making our vanilla caramel popcorn. Yum! But best of all, it's sugar free. That is exciting and it sounds absolutely delicious. What's the first thing we're going to do? Okay, so first we've got to get the nuts into the oven to roast. Okay, what nuts are we using? Okay, so today we've got some pecans, some cashews and also some almonds. But you can pretty much use what you want. We've got some beautiful organic nuts here that we're just going to pop into an oven that's at about 160 degrees. Perfect, alrighty. I'll let you do that. And we've got some popcorn kernels. So for anyone that hasn't made their own popcorn before, it's so super easy and it's, it's a bit of fun. It is a lot of fun. And look, if you've got a popcorn maker, you can obviously just do it that way, yep. but I really like to do it on, on the stove top. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to pass me over some of your lovely olive oil. I'm going to add in about a quarter of a cup of olive oil into just a big saucepan. And I've got about three quarters of a cup of popcorn kernels. And add that in, turn on our heat and pop on this lid and let the magic happen. So while that's heating up, we've got the three kinds of nuts here, probably about a half a cup of each. Mm -hmm. Give them a good shake yep. and then we'll just pop them into the oven. Okay. All right, it sounds like that popcorn's almost ready. The pitter patter of the popcorn's just slowed down. So are we able to... Yep. Look at that! How cool! Yep, so if we just take that off the heat now and right. I'll grab the nuts out of the oven. That sounds good. Yes, yeah, so you don't want to burn the popcorn, so no. you do have to keep a close eye on it. All right. So we've got those toasted nuts here. Now how much popcorn are we going to... Look, it's really up to you. You can obviously just save some of that and eat it. Um, and just have it with some salt. Exactly. Yep. I'd say that's, right. that's good. We'll give that a good shake. And then we'll just leave this aside while we make the caramel. Alrighty. Now, I love that we're making a caramel that isn't loaded with cane sugar and nasties. We're making a healthy version of a caramel. I'm excited about this. So we're going to use about two tablespoons of coconut oil. Yep, so we've got coconut oil here. Uh, you can use another kind of oil or you can even use butter. Okay. And then we've got about a teaspoon of vanilla essence. Yep. So that goes straight in. And then the magic ingredient really is the rice malt syrup, isn't That's it? That's it. So we've got it in the beautiful squeezy jar, which is great. So you can just squeeze it straight in. So you're using about three quarters to a cup of rice malt syrup. And okay. that just goes straight in with the other ingredients. Great. So that's like roughly about half of this. Yep. And I love this squeezy container, it no makes, mess. It makes it so easy, it doesn't get sticky around the jar, it's really great. And rice malt syrup is really versatile, isn't it? So you can use it for raw desserts instead of sugar. It's really good. Look, it's a really great substitute for something like honey. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also got no fructose, which is why a lot of people like um, using it in their cooking. Okay, so just continuously stir this. Yep, just con continually stir it so that the ingredients sort of all start to come together. And then just before it reaches the boiling point, we want to just pop in just a pinch of the baking powder. Right, and what does the baking powder do? It just really gives the caramel a big frothy sort of consistency and it makes it really great to just pour on top and it'll bring the whole dish together. So this is about coming to the boil. Yep. So I'm just going to add in the baking powder and do you want to get the nuts and popcorn sure. ready? All right. So it has really frothed up and you can smell that gorgeous coconut oil as well. Okay, I'm coming in. So if you're going to make this with kids, then this part definitely needs to be supervised. Yep, so just pour, pour it all that all over the top. All right, and do we give it a mix? Yeah, give it a good mix. That'll just really sort of mix the nuts and the popcorn and make sure that they're all evenly coated with that caramel. Okay. And then are we going to pop this back into the oven? Yeah, look, you could have it as it is now, but I like to pop it back in the oven because it really just crisps the whole dish up. All right, do you want to whack that back in the oven for yeah. us? So probably about five to ten minutes and you'll see that uh, the nuts and the popcorn will sort of start to go a nice golden colour and that's when you know it's ready to come out of the oven.
this looks absolutely fantastic. Now it's been cooling for a little bit yep. and I'm ready to dive straight in. Yep, we'll just season it with just a little bit of salt. Oh, perfect. Now it's all very glossy and looks really nice and sticky and crunchy. And you can see all of that caramel just in the bottom there and it's really coated all of those nuts. It really grabs onto it and as it cools, that caramel will start to set. Can I jump in? All right. Yum. It feels like it should be really, really naughty, but it's actually... It's not. It's not at all. And it's so simple and easy to make. You've probably got these ingredients at home. Not too much time and you're done. All we need now is just a really good movie. That's it.